Hi. Welcome to March, April vlog. And this month I am turning my closet, um, getting out my spring things. It's a bit windy here today on the river, as you can see. Um, yes, the daffodils are coming in, the hyacinths, and I'm in my spring jackets. It feels really awesome. Yeah, so I'm turning my closet, um, bringing out spring things. Um, sorting through and putting winter things away, you know, the same old, same old. I'm packing stuff away that I haven't worn at all, really, uh, including my two sweater dresses that uh, I, only, I wore only on the blog. And uh, I've washed up by hand um, several of my cashmere sweaters, things that I have worn, and um, they'll be packed away as well when they're dry right now. They're sitting out on a towel on the deck in the beautiful sunshine, and I'm hoping that they don't get noticed by a uh, passing bird. <laughs> Okay, so where I'm at right now is I have one bag of stuff that I didn't even bother to unpack. That's stuff that I, I didn't wear last winter and I'm probably not going to wear any longer because of my coloring. I went through that last year when I changed my hair color. I'm going to go through that and um, see what is a, a spring summer, see if there's anything spring summer in there that I can donate. Uh, and see if there's anything from my winter stuff that I want to add into that. I packed one bag full of heavy sweaters that I'm putting away. I have uh, one half full and so what I'm going to do is wait for my sweaters that have been washed to dry and then I'll load them up into that container that I've started to fill put them away and then I will start stage two, which is basically going through what I've taken out, deciding what's too early to pull out now, what am I not ever gonna wear again, and I'll create a small pile that'll go back into the cupboard, into the storage drawer until later in the season, another small pile, hopefully small pile to donate and then I will commence with my jackets and things that are in my closet. These are my heavy blazers that I'm going to pack away. My houndstooth, my black maxmara, double-breasted, my green, dark green tweed maxmara, and this old camel, Adriana Vitadeni. Interestingly enough, <laughs> These are all the blazers that were in my closet. They're all vintage. In fact, um, this is the newest one um, purchased in 1997. So, all vintage, all worn by me the first time around. <laughs> Not doing too bad with the slow fashion thing. You know, I'm looking through what's left hanging in my closet. Jeans, jeans, jeans. I might pack away my burgundy, not your daughter jeans. 
but the black uh, Liverpool I'm going to keep out. All my other jeans I'll keep out. I think I'm going to keep out this black faux leather skirt for a couple of months because I could wear it with slickers and something else. I'd like to try and style it with something else. I'm definitely going to keep out my leather pants. Um, for sure these will stay out. I've got a pair of wool leggings here and these plaid rag and bone pants. I'm going to pack both of those away. Um, my Uniqlo down vest. And my three light cashmere sweaters, the navy Vince, the purple Uniqlo, and the green Club Monaco. I'm going to keep those out because those will go really well under my uh, spring jackets. So really, that's it. Yeah, so I'm just going to get on with bringing out my spring jackets. Yay! wearing that Ely Tahari safari jacket for a while. I won't be wearing my weekend old, very old Max Mara linen blazer for a while. Won't be wearing these summer dresses, the long black linen one and the navy right and bone for a while. And because I still have some winter stuff left in my closet, I don't have room to just take everything out. So these are gonna go back in the closet, in the storage closet. So I have this really old Chiruti black jacket, which I rehabilitated last year. Skirt's long gone. It's quite casual, I really like it, I'll wear it. Soon my Montclair baseball style sweater jacket, I'll wear it soon. Of course, the uh, Max Mara pantsuit, ubiquitous in my wardrobe now. Um, my Veronica Beard um, dicky scuba jacket. And I think I'm going to put my white blazer back in for a while. Just like later, you know, you can have something new to take out. And I think I'll put my black Helmet Lang dressy blazer back in. It's got very thin um, knitted sleeves. I love this jacket. It was a great buy. Uh, bought it in 2015. So I'm going to put those back in as well. And I have a couple of other issues. This one, this is a Nanette Lepore uh, white blazer that I bought, you know, maybe 2011, maybe. Um, it has gorgeous um, buttons on it and the little buckles on the sleeves. But I haven't worn it. It has the kind of the sweetheart neckline. I used to wear this with my flare jeans, high heels, and a little white tank underneath it. I'm going to keep it around. It's been on the edge of being given away. It's got a little self belt in the back. It's been on the edge of, you know, going out the door a couple of times. Um, but I'm gonna try it this year again. If it still fits me, I might wear it somewhere. And I got my Paige jean jacket out because that I can wear under my green jackets and that will be good. 
in here, I have a bunch of stuff that I've been trying to make my mind up about. I have a gorgeous uh, um, animal print giraffe, kind of animal print silk dress that I had when I was working. This black and gold silk short sleeve top, which I, I wore for a number of years as my kind of dressy uh, for dinner top in the summer. This olive green mm, linen tunic I might. And if these theory dress pants, I think they're theory, uh, I wore these when I was working, but they're long and they're a little bit more full. And if they still fit me, I'm gonna take these out. Oh, they're size eight though. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna try them on later. It's time for tea. So I'm pretty much done for today. Um, excuse the headphones. I'm kind of anxiously waiting for a phone call back from Fredericton. I've been trying to track down this week why my mom has not had her COVID shot, so it's a little nerve wracking. <laughs> Clothes are a good distraction as usual. So I'm gonna put these back in, even though these were winter, they're winter weight, and I bought them on the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I think that was, oh no, Black Friday. Yeah, a couple of years ago. They're so great for the summer. And I'm gonna put my leather pants back in and not much else has changed. <coughs> a few t-shirts I took out, my light pants are going back in my storage drawer for a while. This is more like a preliminary switch over really because um, yeah, I'm not going to be wearing very much different. We're back in a uh, stay-at-home order for the next month because despite a lot of people being vaccinated, the numbers have risen alarmingly in our area. So the uh, COVID adventure continues. Okay, obviously this is the next day. Well, it's two days later. I'm, I'm finished my... Uh, closet turnaround turnover whatever and what I've been doing today is trying on new stuff with old stuff like my new Club Monaco um, hooded cashmere sweater which I really like and this really old um, Max Mara um, blazer that goes with my suit I've got this on with my blue ASIC sneakers and my straight leg frame um, jeans that I bought last spring. So I rolled them up a little bit. But what I'm, what I'm trying to do is pair the trendy with the very untrendy. Apparently, so the fashion prognosticators say, is that fitted jackets are out and really mannish jackets are in. And I'm not going to abandon my lovely navy jackets, neither this one nor my Veronica Beard one, which is a little bit more casual than this. So I'm going to figure out how I'm going to up the ante a little bit. So I'm changed my sneakers, I've added these straight leg jeans which are a little bit more current and I've been also playing around this morning with my skinny jeans. I mean I have two, how many is there? I have four pairs of blue skinny jeans and one pair of black skinny jeans and I'm not going to get rid of them because I find them really really comfortable but some of them I'm going to try and style with more oversized pieces on top. So that's, that, that's kind of what my next goal is. Closet's all turned. It's sunny out today. I've actually done my hair, got some makeup on, some decent clothes on. We are in um, not only lockdown, but a stay-at-home order for the next month. But we are allowed to go out and do curbside pickups. So I've ordered some of our lovely uh, infused olive oil that we buy from the store, a local store. So I'm going to go pick that up 
and uh, grab myself a drive through coffee on the way home. So exciting! Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my March video, even though it's well into April. Um, I, there was a, we weren't doing anything in March, and I didn't really, I was kind of stressed about my mom and, and you know, the whole lockdown thing and whatever, 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 and I just didn't feel like filming anything and yammering on. But when the weather got warmer and I took a little blog holiday and um, turned my closet, so fashion discussion always cheers me up. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you next month.